There are those wondering if this will be Tom Brady's last year playing football. He has religiously said he'd play into his mid-40s and will be turning 40 soon. Everyone knows that time changes things. We've all said things we do in the future, but when the time comes, things change. Brady has a caring wife and kids and has probably thought about retiring and spending more time with his family in some capacity. Now, let's take a deeper look at Brady on the field. Brady has played at an elite level all last year after his four-game suspension. He tore through the regular season, leading the team to the number one seed in the playoffs. The only sign he's shown that maybe he's losing his mojo was the first three quarters of the Super Bowl. That being said, it's hard to expect him to play amazing for every snap of every season, so I'm going to chop this up as a bad three quarters. Therefore, Brady has been excellent in taking care of his body well and hasn't shown any signs of slowing down. The trend of quarterbacks is that they fall off a cliff after age 39. Tom Brady played fantastic at age 39, but statistics are trends and numbers don't lie. Manning and Favre enjoyed excellent seasons before falling off a cliff in their final season. I'm sure neither of them saw this kind of drop in quarterback play coming. Now, statistics are on average and there's always corner cases and you don't win many bets against Tom Brady. With that being said, let's go over three scenarios and what I think Tom Brady will do afterwards. In the first scenario, Tom Brady wins another Super Bowl. This isn't too hard to think about since the Patriots loaded up on talent this offseason and are heavy Super Bowl favorites. Let's say he plays fantastic all season long and gets another Super Bowl MVP. He has already cemented himself as the best quarterback of all time in my eyes and this would cement it even further. If Tom Brady wins his sixth Super Bowl, I think he'll retire. He has nothing left to prove and I feel as though he'll be one of those players who likes to go out on top. It's one thing to know that you can still play, but choose to lead. He's already won more Super Bowls than any other quarterback in NFL history, surpassing even his own hero in Joe Montana. This one is up in the air though, since he knows he can still play at a high level and he can see him playing until the Patriots don't let him. The second scenario is if Brady falls short of winning the Super Bowl. This can mean he loses in the playoffs or in the Super Bowl. In this case, I definitely see him coming back. He's known for his ultra competitive nature and the thought of him coming so close will drive him to continue on playing. He will show no signs of slowing down, but the media and various outlets will ask if he can still play. There is nothing scarier than an angry Tom Brady and that will drive him to work extremely hard to win another Super Bowl. This is the likeliest of scenarios since even though they're favorites to win, it's not a sure thing like in the NBA. The third and final scenario is if he does indeed fall off a cliff. While their time is undefeated and no matter how much he takes care of himself and isn't hit, he won't be able to play forever. I have no doubt that the Patriots and Brady will still be winning and going to the playoffs, but it can be a similar situation to Peyton Manning's final year. The team, and especially the coaching, is good enough to get to the playoffs, but Brady will struggle. This is the case that will definitely cause him to retire. He seems like a man that has too much pride to just be another quarterback in the league. He's been great throughout his entire career, and this would in no way hamper his legacy. In the end, Brady is well prepared for retirement. He has made plenty of money and is well set for the future. I think he's been preparing for this for a while now. You see that he's been appearing in more and more commercials and taking more endorsement deals. This is a side of Brady you have never have seen early in his career. His mind was all about football and nothing else mattered off the field. He now realizes there's more to life than football and that might ultimately cause him to retire. Not something on the field, but something off the field that causes him to walk away from the game he's dedicated so much of his life to.